Hi, I'm Toby from Concrete Lab, and in this video, which is part three in our video series, how to use our cast in place mix, we are going to show you how to mix up the concrete and how to cast the concrete. So if you're enjoying these videos, please click the like button uh, and also click the subscribe button. And when you click the subscribe button, uh, click the little bell icon as well, and that will notify you every time we put a new video up. Now, if you have any questions or queries, um, or just want to tell us how fantastic we are, please uh, pop a comment in the uh, comment box below. So for this stage of the project, where we're going to be mixing up the concrete, you're going to need, first of all, gloves. You're going to need a uh, paddle mixer, um, a single paddle mixer, uh, like a plasterer's mixer um, as a minimum. Don't be tempted to go really low budget and get a paint whisk um, and attach it to your drill because you'll just burn your drill out. Um, so you need a single paddle mixer, something with a bit of oomph, um, and that will, that will do the trick. So you're going to need a mask. Now, I'm not going to wear a mask for the mixing, otherwise I won't be able to talk you through it. Uh, but we have plenty of dust extraction here, uh, so there won't be any airborne dust to cause any problems. You're going to need a bucket trowel. You're going to need a smaller bucket to make life easy for yourself when you're pouring the concrete into the mould. The full mix weighs about 25 kilos, which doesn't sound like a huge amount, but when you're having to lug it up, and pour it out of a big bucket, it does. It, it can cause damage. You're probably going to want to have things like a hoover at hand, uh, rags, maybe uh, just like a, a, a basic spill kit. Um, and also, if you are making your concrete in areas where you've got surfaces that you want to keep protected, then highly recommend that you tape them off with cover sheets. Now the great thing about our cast in place mix is that it is a just add water system. Now for more information on the quantities that you're going to require for your project and for things like the mixing instructions and the casting instructions so you've got them in a PDF format, scan the QR code here and that will take you to our support website where there is a plethora of information not only about the products but also uh, little tips and tricks and uh, answering common queries. Now let's have a look at what you will receive from Concrete Lab when you purchase our cast in place mix. So when you receive your cast in place mix from Concrete Lab, uh, you will receive a bucket like this with uh, various components inside. You will have uh, two small pouches. One is an additive for the water. The other uh, are fibers. For, uh, for the mix. I'll put that there and that there and you'll see why in a second. You'll also receive a bag of aggregates and then you will receive a bag of the base mix and finally you'll receive a lovely mixing bucket. Now I've laid them out like this so that you can see the order in which we add them to the mix. So first of all we put the water in the bucket, we put the additive into the water and then we gradually add the, uh, the base mix. Uh, you can do that into the three or four um, batches um, and blend that until it's nice and smooth using your paddle mixer. After that, you move on to the aggregates and you add that in the same way. So that is blended into the mixture that's in the bucket. And then finally, you gradually add the fibers. Now it's all very simple and we'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so we're ready to carry out the mixing process. Uh, we'll run you through what we've got here again. Uh, this is our single paddle mixer, uh, fairly inexpensive affair. You can get it from most DIY stores, uh, plasterers, mixer, whisk, whatever. Uh, we've got our water, we have our uh, additive there, we have the base mix, have our aggregates, and we have our fibers. The only other tools that we need are bucket trowel, very useful for scooping out the edges, making sure that there's no dry material settling at the bottom of the mixing bucket. And then also I have a craft knife just to open up the bag. So we'll start off by putting most of the water in the bucket and, pour and putting the additive in with that.
So I've put 80 to 90% of the water in. Additive sprinkled in. Put that aside. Let's give that a quick whisk. And now we're ready to start putting the base mix in, which is pretty simple affair. I just recommend that you don't put it all in at once. Put in approximately a third to a half. So that's approximately half the mix in there. So I'm just going to use the bucket trowel now, just to get right to the bottom, scrape all the mix off the, off the edges, but also right in the corner of the bucket at the bottom, just to remove and lift any dry mix. And because I put 90% of the water in and the additive, it, and then only put half the base mix in, it makes it very liquid and easy to make sure it's all mixed in properly. So get the remaining part of the mix. Get the remaining part of the mix and pull that in. and start mixing again. Now if you keep the mixer at the bottom in the more, or the, the, the pre-mixed part of the mix, the first mix, it means that the dry mix will just whisk into that as you go. So when, if the mix gets like this, so if the mix gets a bit dry, you've retained some of the water, and now's the time to add that in. I'm gonna leave just a little bit back, just in case, but that should be enough to just get the mix going.
Okay, as you can see, that's pretty well mixed now. I'm just going to get the bucket trial in again. Just get it around those edges. Just knock off any dry material. Get to the bottom of the bucket again. If you get a little bit on your fingers, don't worry, because you're, you're wearing your gloves. Just do yourself a favour. If you have got too much on your, on your gloves, just get rid of it, because the next place you're going to put your finger is on the, on the trigger of the paddle mixer, and it's uh, eventually going to gunk it up. Right, so main mix in. We're ready to put our aggregates in. As you can see, if you come and have a look at the mix, there's loads of bubbles coming out, which, which is a good sign. It means that it's uh, consolidating nicely. Now, there may be one or two lumps left in the mix at this point. Don't worry about that because the aggregates will break those up. So we're just going to dump all of those in. Of course, you don't have to dump everything in. If you want to do it more gradually and adding, adding bits by bits with both the base mix and the aggregate, then you can do. But this is just to demonstrate that you can just go straight in. So they're all mixed in now. A good tip is to keep your paddle at the bottom of the mixer and then when all the aggregates are covered in the base mix then you know you're pretty much reach, reaching the, the, uh, the full homogenous mix. Now we're ready to put the fibres in. Again we're going to put these in gradually and not dump them in one go and the other thing that we're going to do, I'll take about a third there, the other thing we're going to do is we're not going to just dump them in. We want them to disperse throughout the mix. So we're just going to break them up slightly and sprinkle them in that way. As opposed to just putting them in one place in one single clump. I'm going to help it a little bit by just squidging them into the mix. Now, unlike their larger cousin, the alkali-resistant uh, glass fibres, um, which should only be mixed for a couple of minutes maximum, these can be mixed a bit longer because they don't. The fibre bundles are already broken up. It's quite technical, but just if you do use our glass fibre mixes, then just bear that in mind. But you don't have to worry about that with this mix. Another third going there. Again, just help those into the mix to start with. And then give it a quick blast with the mixer.
And what you can see now is the mix is really beginning to thicken up. This is definitely something that you want to see happening. Okay, same thing again. Push those into the mix. And I'm just waiting for them all to all disappear now when I give it a final blast with the mixer. I say final blast. I'm going to just get the bucket trial on it once more. Get all those edges. One final blast. And that is it. So I'll just put that down there. So if you come over here and have a look at the mix, you can see it's really runny, really self-consolidating. You can see the aggregates in there, you can see the fibres in there, and that's going to make for an absolutely fantastic plastic in-place mix.